And um, finally, we have our colleague from the um, uh, Division of International Affairs for Environment and Energy and Environment Building and Urban Development uh, from uh, the Federal Ministry for the Environment. We have Hermann Amecke, who uh, uh, we have asked to finalize his view uh, on that meetup. Please. The floor is yours. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you. And uh, so, so good news for you, Mike. It wasn't was it, it, you were the one with, between uh, between uh, people and drinks. It's me. Uh, so I will be short, also because I think I used half my speaking time for questions uh, already. Um, and uh, I would just like to to say my my uh, uh, thanks for for the the meeting. Uh, for the very um, interesting, inspiring discussions. Um, uh, I took a lot of notes, and I, I suppose you, you did as well, and uh, especially from my side, thanks for, uh, for the organizers sitting around uh, there uh, for, for, for joining us and uh, for having this. So, so some applause maybe for them. Yeah. Um, and maybe just, just a few points. I, I, I don't want to um, say that I, that I can sum it up Everything that has been said, but I think there has been some 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 common themes, and I think I, I think sort of uh, Mike already uh, took like a, a big macro perspective, uh, and just to iterate that, uh, I think uh, so so the urgency of, of of climate change, I think we are we are all aware of, and uh, I think we need we need new tools that can definitely help us uh, to get there. Um, some some very interesting things I I've heard, for example, that when you when you ask citizens in Madrid in a in a very participative process, then 50% of the proposals are are environmental proposals. I think that's that's quite an interesting message for us, and I think that gets a little bit also to the second point. We, as an environmental ministry, are now trying to think more openly also what does digitization mean for us um, to make uh, society uh, grandchildren proof. Um, uh, uh, and I think that that grandchildren proof is both an environmental sense, but it also relates to those. Uh, uh, privacy issues um, and all other issues. So, how does the sort of the digital world uh, in the future look like that we actually want to want to live in? And I think that we 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 do um, have uh, something that is citizen-centered um, that we can contribute to that. Um, I think that that was an, sort of an interesting point that I took along. And I think the other sort of big point that I took along is that all the the smart city proposals had something in common. That even before um, uh, getting um, uh, the digital input in there, there was sort of a digital mindset attached to that. And that I, what I mean by that is um, basically all the, the, the friends I have that work in startups in, in the digital industry, they, they are really um, using these type of design thinking processes, meaning that they're talking early to people, that they're willing to fail fast, they're willing to, to, to learn quickly and then, then go to scale. And I think that was sort of in common with, with a lot of different approaches. Um, and I th thought that was uh, quite inspiring. So, so thanks a lot from my side and um, happy drinks. Thank you, Hermann. <laughs>